Hello everyone and welcome back to Octopath Traveler. You're still in Mirkwood? Which is still a very original and imaginative name. But it must be said it is a large area, so that is cool at least. Psychic staff. How does that compare? Increases my elemental attack. Um, yeah, this is an upgrade, pure and simple, because I never physically attack with um, with Cyrus. Okay, that's where the kid is, so I'm guessing that's where I'm supposed to be going. Let's see if there's anything else we can find before going there. Like 5,000 monies. Okay, as you can see, Hane just got 5,000 SJP, not SP. So we're going to make use of those in a bit, but first, I'm going to restore everyone's SP. And then we go for skills, learn skills, Hane, Trafendi's Rage. Highly powerful bow attack from all foes. Doesn't give me any new passive skills. And this is the full list of hunter skills, apparently. So yeah, next skill would cost zero JP. It's a bit silly, really. I would prefer if that just said like a dash. So you knew there was no next skill to learn, but fair enough. If I get another hunter skill, it will cost me zero JP. Yay for me. Uh, everyone else is still not able to learn anything new. Oh, we're definitely going to take that out for a spin in the next fight, so I'm not going to cut that one out. Ooh. Clarity Stone. That's going to be an accessory. Prevents confusion, okay. That might be worth having. I see you. This is the beginning of your end. And this is not a fight that will be cut out. Uh, you can wildfire this thing to break it. Now, none of these guys are weak Letting to bow attacks, beginning. so it might not necessarily be the best um, targets. Oh, usable only at maximum boost. All right, so we're going to have to wait before we can use this. Um... <laughs> That's interesting. My turn now. So that's what makes these divine skills special, I guess. You can't really use them unless you're at uh, full boost. No. So I'm guessing uh, I, yeah, we'll, we'll probably see it in the next boss fight. I'm still keeping this um, this fight in though. So out of my way. It's not like I have to cut it out. Uh, you still have nothing in terms of AoE, so I don't know, just put that weed. Letting the hunt begin it. I'll do my best. May the sacred flame shine and forth. And we get the kill on Ophelia. I am not With Ophelia, whatever, battles. you know what I mean. You know, Cyrus is actually also approaching his final skill. But he's still got a little longer to go. And now we can make our way to what I expect will be a boss fight. Daryl? 
You idiot! But... Are you serious? But... You mustn't push yourself. <sighs> I will not lose to that you. is certainly big. First stance on Dilemma. Well, we know you're weak to ice, so I'm just going to start hitting you with that. <sighs> Let's also see if daggers work. Come in, do not. If thou okay. darest. Yeah. I'm, I'm almost certain that none of the bosses are going to be tameable. But for all the bosses that are animals, I'm still going to check. Just because there might just be that one where just... As a joke, they left it in, so it's like possible to catch it, but difficult. But then you've got a really cool summon. So I, I think that might be possible. I don't believe it, but you never know. Um, at any rate, let's try bow attacks. Nope. I'll do my best. Um, let's try light attack. Oh, sacred light. That works. Very nice. <laughs> Uh, what can we do? We can reduce your physical attack strength. I'm guessing that's what you're going to be using anyway, so I'm going to be reducing that. Well then. Um, and since we don't know who is going to attack, there's no point trying to buff anyone. Not that her buffs would really mean much anyway. But what we can do is holy light you. Oh, sacred light! Come in, if thou And then darest. tried bow attacks. We haven't tried max attacks yet. Okay, then either. Um, right. Let's break him then. A tempest of ice shall rain. Letting my arrow fly in true. And now, since we are at full boost, Holding back we can use Trafendi's Rage just to see what it does. Cowering before the Huntress. Meh, 3.7k. It's not horrible. I mean, it's not overwhelmingly powerful, but it's okay. Um, let's try fire Don't damage, I guess. Down. Nope. An interesting. Ah! To learn. Okay, and there we go. I'll we know all his weaknesses now. You cannot hit any of them with your physical attacks. You can do icicle to hit it. Um... Please free. So the reason I want to. Or I prefer having physical attacks is because with physical attacks you can basically boost them to get multiple in the same turn. So if this guy was weak to... well, he is weak to sword attacks, so that works. I could now boost it once, I only have one boost point right now. If you immediately break him by two, I'll lower his shield by two. Um, and I think this is now also a point where I want to use summon like the puppet bones. What is the logical course of action? And I guess might as well no. no point boosting right now. I want to break him first rage. and then I might boost it. I'll not be defeated. Okay, what can you do though? We are going to boost up heal wounds to get everyone back to. Oh, everyone's back to actual full, not just almost full. Out of my way. Right now, I could 
break him this turn. Sure, why not? I'll do my best. Letting my arrow fly in true. Um. Yeah, I'm just going to use up the puff bones now. Why not? Now, what next? Uh. Coming, if thou darest. I'll do my best. Right. Everyone's fine HP wise, not full, but fine. Um, so let's just holy light again. Unboosted her damage is not exactly great. But... My, a tempest of ice shall rage. See, his blizzard just did basically the same damage as Hanit's special celestial attack. And it's also AoE. So, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong there or if just the, the, the damage just isn't that great. Um, I want to use one inspiriting plum on uh, Cyrus. Letting my arrow fly in true. You can use the last puppet bones. My turn now. Oh, sacred light. <sighs> I won't be able to break it this turn, I'm afraid, but might be able to get it next turn. Oh yeah. Letting my arrow fly in true. Hmm. You know what? Just because I have it, I'm going to full boost summon a cat. My turn. And see, we got a bunch of buffs. Some of them lasting 8 turns, some of them lasting 4 turns now, and we debuff the enemy as well. And now we can break him. Tempest of ice shall rage. I'll do my best. <laughs> Letting my arrow fly in true. I'm also kind of tempted to find out what this does, but we'll use that in a different boss fight. What next? Okay, your standard attacks are not gonna do much, so some of them, I guess. Now, what next? Alright, we can boost twice. Out of my way. Uh, Therion. You can steal. Yours is mine. Healing great bunch. Okay. What next? Uh, fine. My turn now. And we can max boost the holy light. Hmm, Two thousand. Not bad. Coming See, I'm a little underwhelmed by Harnet's um, celestial the divine skill. Not celestial. But um... Oh, he appears to his shield seems to grow every time. Or that was just his ability shielding him up, but it seems like every time he got the shield back it went a little higher. A tempest of ice shall rage! Well, we should still be able to, to get this done. Next time Ethereon gets Letting a turn, my arrow we can... Fly in true. Um, actually, no, let's do this from Harnet, because she can't really break him that well either. Let's give another inspiration from to Cyrus. Letting my arrow fly in true. And then... I don't know, Lind again. Death. 
All right, next turn we'll be able to break now, him. What next? Uh, -dum -de -dum. Oh, you're fine. You have uh, Don't need to worry about that sort of thing. I'll not be defeated. He wasted his last few turns quite badly. Ah! Missed a lot. That's what I mean. <sighs> Letting my arrow fly in true. Um, sure. Again, not going to be able to break him, but. <laughs> Right now, Harnet and Cyrus can't boost because I think that's the terror condition. Um, I could, however, just break him. I'm ready. Uh, I would like to boost Cyrus though, so I'm sure I have something that prevents um, fusion, blindness, poison, unconscious, terror. And you stand on Cyrus because then he can boost. What is the logical course of action? Uh, next turn though, that's fine. I want to boost Harnet. She can't really do much, so it's pretty fine. Not be defeated. Ophelia, you can holy light. Sure, let's just boost it up with what you've got now. I'll do my best. And Rehabilitate Hanu. Just because that state's condition was getting on my plums. And we got it. Nice. Not bad. Definitely a longer fight than we've previously had in terms of just how long the boss took to get down, but it eh, wasn't difficult. Like, we were never in any significant danger. That was obvious. <laughs> Emil, such a relief. Thanks. Now then. Hmm. Uh. Huh? <laughs> hmm. Daryl? <sighs> I'm sorry. Oh! Exactly. I'm sorry. Nah. Travel banter.
Hmm. He's a little bit emo, but I must say I prefer the emo to the anime, so that's all good. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll get this cutscene in. I have returned, Your Excellency. Welcome back, Sister Ophelia. And how did you find our humble town? It is a fine place, Your Excellency with fine children, who will surely lead it to a bright future. <laughs> children, you say? Yes. That's a suspicious thing to hear from a priest. I am not sure of what you speak, but it seems you had a pleasant encounter in Saintsbridge today. Your smile beams as bright as the flame. I'm sure you don't know what we speak of. Mighty Elfric brought fire down from the heavens, and carried it to every corner of the realm. Every twenty years, one of our faithful sets off on the kindling, following in his footsteps. It is said that the ember born during the rite reflects the heart of the flame-bearer who carries it. The heart of the flame bearer. Twenty years ago, when the Archbishop brought us his ember, I recall that his flame burned bright and strong, full of vigor and passion. The fire that you have brought us, Sister Ophelia, to my eyes, it looks to be a warm and gentle flame. <laughs> I know not which children you met. But I have no doubt your kindness was a comfort to them as well. You are far too kind, Your Excellency. I only hope that I have helped in some small way. Hey, Emil! Did you find that brooch? I sure did! We found it in the woods! The woods? You actually went in? But there are all kinds of nasty beasts in there. You bet there were. But that sister from the church kicked the living snot out of them. It was freaking outrageous. Wasn't it, Emil? <laughs> it sure was. Living snot, huh? <gasps> sister! It's true, though, isn't it? Oh, I wish I could have seen it, too. The beast? No, sister here beating it into a bloody pulp. Now, just a second. Anyway, sister Ophelia's freaking outrageous, isn't she, Emil? She really is. Oh, why do you two get to have all the fun? You better tell me all about it. <laughs> I do believe my work here is done. And with that, I should journey on to Goldshore. Okay, that was fine. So, let's just quickly look at the world map before we end the episode. See where... Ah, Ophelia's Chapter 3 is where Olfin's Chapter 2 is. Cool. Um, yeah, recommended level 38. We're still a little ways away from that on Ophelia, at least. Um, there's still 
plenty of space on the map though. I'm not sure, if, it's probably not going to extend all the way to the edges, but... Yeah, this is definitely the edge of the map here. So I'm guessing the lighter background color is where there's not going to be anything. Um, but there's still a path here leading down, for example, so there's still plenty to explore. But uh, not today. So in any, in any case, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.